and heading toward the start, and here they come. And they're off. Southwind, Frank, and Lagerfeld from the outside are leaving, and Sutton is flashing good speed for Andy Miller. Double L, Lindy gets away in the fourth spot, and bar hopping reserved off the pace early in fifth. Marion Marauder immediately to his inside six. Muscle Hustle is going to drop in seventh. Weightlifter K broke before the start. Caught bat trotting and slides up in eighth. Love Matters right there to his outside. Winter Harbor is tenth and trailing the field, and Sutton setting a reasonable pace as they move toward the quarter. Southwind, Frank is right there racing in second, and the quarter is up, and a tepid 28 and 3 so Sutton stole the opening quarter and leads it a length onto the back stretch. Southwind Frank is right there behind him racing in second. Double L Lindy is two lengths further back in third. Lagerfeld is fourth. Bar hopping showing the whip fifth but he's seven lengths from the lead. Marion Marauder already edging into the two wide flow. The whip on his tail but he's two lengths behind bar hopping. Muscle Hustle waiting for Marion Marauder to advance. Love Manners continues to move up at the rail there. Also on the inside is Weightlifter K as they race through the half mile marker in 15 six and two a 27 and four second quarter and Sutton leads it a length onto the far turn Southwind Frank sits tight in the two hole there and here comes Lagerfeld who's first over for Dave Miller he's making progress on the outside bar hopping is out to follow him he's second up and poised in a perfect striking spot Marion Marauder gapping his cover slightly has five lengths to make up on the front end so it's Sutton who leads the way being pressed by Lagerfeld on the outside three-quarter time 124 and one and they come to the top of the stretch Lagerfeld trying to surge by Sutton. Sutton is trying to fight him off at the rail. Bar hopping, looking to kick off cover. Southwind Frank behind a wall of horses with nowhere to go. Lagerfeld trotting a big mile. Bar hopping is charging hard on the outside for Tietrich. It's Bar hopping getting to the front. Double L, Lindy and Southwind Frank. Bar hopping a Tietrich hat trick in the Breeders' Crowd. Southwind Frank was second, then I believe Double L Lindy from Lagerfeld won 51 and 4. They come to the top of the stretch. Lagerfeld trying to surge by Sutton. Sutton is trying to fight him off at the rail. Bar hopping, looking to kick off cover. Southwind Frank behind a wall of horses with nowhere to go. Lagerfeld trotting a big mile. Bar hopping is charging hard on the outside for Tietrich. It's Bar hopping getting to the front. Double L, Lindy and Southwind Frank. Bar hopping, a Tietrich hat trick in the Breeders' Crowd. Southwind Frank was second, then I believe Double L Lindy from Lagerfeld won 51 and 4. Jen Bongiorno back here with Yannick Jingrao, who was driving the number nine Southwind Frank. Southwind Frank was surging at the wire, got up for second. This was a horse that obviously you've had very high expectations for all year. Tell us a little bit about if you would have had a little bit of more room, got out early. What, what are your thoughts? I mean, nothing to take away from Bar Hopping. He raced a great race. He, uh, he had a great trip. Uh, I got a little locked in there. Obviously, uh, I'd love to be on the front, and uh, but that's, that's horse racing. All right, guys. There you have it. Southwind Frank was great tonight. Bar Hopping wins the race, though. Back to Man, you guys. Three straight Breeders' Crown trophies, and he is standing by on the winner's circle right now with Hollywood Hayden. Served notice last week, Bar Hopping, that he was ready to go. It's a good time of year for him. And what about going into this race? How would you feel? I felt really good. Uh, last week he uh, raced really well. We opened him up a little bit and he trotted a big mile and today off cover he uh, really responded well. Any chance that you caught the other three horses in the handball, the one, two, three finishes, maybe a touch or two off their game from a longer season? Bar hopping might be a little bit fresher. Um, but my horse has raced against him all year and a couple times whenever he drew bad and you know, he never could get in the race and uh, when they raced hard and we still got checks. But, uh, you know, those are great horses that he's beaten and my horse is uh, right there with him. Yeah, three consecutive Breeders' Crowns. Uh, and what was the most impressive of the three? Uh, Walner, but they're all very special to me. Anytime you win one of those uh, big trophies, they're very, very hard to get. That's why we start qualifying in May and we work so hard to get to those big races. It's very, very special. 18 Breeders' Crowns. He's not 35 for three and a half weeks. Congratulations. Thank you, Hollywood. Not only is Bar Hopping a Breeders' Crown champion, he's now Harness Racing's newest millionaire with that $250,000 paycheck for Bar Hopping. Christina Tactor, Hatfield Stables. That is fantastic. Marvin Katz, another win tonight. Now Libfeld, they've had a fantastic night. Bar Hopping returns to the winner's circle and pays three eighty dollars as your favorite. Yeah, he's going to equal he equal the stakes mark here, one fifty one and 4 uh, set by, guess who? A tactor trainee, Father Patrick, 2014. Uh, three eighty dollars on the win ticket here with Bar Hopping. So uh, I cashed with the exactus here with the 9, Southwind Frank, second, 
420, 320, six double L Lindy, long shot third there, uh, 1040. And uh, the uh, $2 try, 300, 240, pick three, uh, paid 450. Chalky there, 233, dime super, 135, 67, 39, and 610. And the exacta will come up again. Yeah, that's the all Tim Tetrick pick three that gives you yeah. maybe enough money to get home if you live on the New Jersey Turnpike and pay those tolls with the 450 you made on that pick three. But again, bar hopping deserves all the credit here. A big time performance, a very happy winner's circle. And those are names and faces you see very often on Breeders' Crown Night in the winner's circle. They are really, really great owners in this sport. They put a lot of money, a lot of effort into this game, and they deserve to be rewarded on a night like tonight when all the stars come out to play bar hopping your breeders crown three-year-old colt trotting champion as your